Uh, the Democrats simply aren't taking crime seriously. They're not taking any of this seriously. As a matter of fact, even with this very issue, uh, there's misunderstanding and divided opinions as to how it will be handled you know, once the Safety Act is in effect. And, and uh, J.B. Pritzker, the, the, the President of the Senate, and the, the Speaker of the House, I mean, they spent months, months behind locked, closed doors without any Republican involvement, without any state's attorney involvement, without any police involvement, and they developed this. 700 pages later, they still don't have a clue what it says and what it does. And I'm putting, uh, I'm putting all of my uh, confidence in the uh, state's attorneys and law enforcement that know exactly what it says and what it does. Well, again, I'm going to blame the leadership. I'm going to blame Jesse White. I believe everything starts at the top and funnels down. I don't know the exact reasons uh, why they took a pass on that, but uh, I don't blame the uh, people uh, who were handling this for some reason. Uh, they're, uh, you know, as governor, I'm going to make sure that uh, uh, from, from the governor's office, all the way down to the to the local when my uh, local sheriff's uh, departments found out about it down here i mean they immediately went into action and, and were ready so uh, i don't know i blame failed at leadership we've had enough of it jesse white's gotten lax in his position governor pritzker's been a miserable failure for four years that's where i'm pointing the finger i do thank the illinois state police for uh, uh, you know, regarding this situation and uh, taking care of it as they did. Well, we had Obama here, uh, you know, a, a few weeks ago. So uh, they know, they know, uh, Governor Pritzker's got the money uh, to do the polling that he needs to do. And uh, I'm confident that the results that he's showing is a showing that uh, he's losing. And uh, to your point, they know they're in trouble. So uh, here they come to try to a last minute ditch effort uh, to try to make amends. But I'm telling you, being in Oak Brook yesterday at noon, being downtown Chicago on LaSalle, LaSalle Street last night, people are fed up. Wherever we go, people are coming up to us off the street and they're saying, you've got to win this. We've had enough. They know the trouble that we're in. And I think Tuesday is going to tell us everything we need to know whenever Illinois makes history and shocks, uh, shocks the political culture of this nation. Well, we've just finished that up and I just it's the biggest honor of my life. Uh, to be able to uh, represent uh, the people uh, of this state, uh, and, uh, and, and, and it's good. And, and this all, I cast the vote at the very same place that uh, just a little over two years ago, uh, we sued J.B. Pritzker and as a state representative and uh, won that suit. Uh, so it's always awesome to be home here in Clay County, and, and it felt good. And, and we're going to be ready to go to work for the people of Illinois uh, on November 9th.